So here we go with review number four in the series of reviews. Um, for an explanation of why I uploaded these reviews later, look at my review of the QJ 3x3 2nd gen non-mini cube, just the regular size. So this cube is the Shang Shao 3x3. Not to, be, not to be confused with Shen Shu 3x3, which is a totally different cube. This pr uh, cube is priced at in the five to seven dollar range, and you can buy it at MagicPuzzleCube.com, where I always recommend people buy their cubes from. It's a very good shop. Shipping is free uh, on any on all orders twenty five dollars and up, and international shipping goes down with orders twenty five thousand uh, twenty five dollars and up. The stickers on this cube are a very nice quality sticker, um, no, not slippery at all. And the colors are in easy to distinguish. The plastic is a good quality plastic. Doesn't feel that cheap. There are no edges or sharp points that you need to sand down when you get the cube. The internals look like this. It has very unique internal pieces compared to most other cubes. Like this one, it's got sort of that spade shape. It's just kind of hard to explain. You just got to kind of look at it and see. But the internals of this cube definitely are definitely what make it uh, have its unique sound. And the cube also does have these corner caps, which I really don't understand. But whatever, they don't pop off, so it's not an issue. The edges look like this. They're more rounded than the standard Rubik's Cube. Obviously, the standard Rubik's Cube is a square. And... It's very not bulky at all. There is a lot of there isn't a lot of plastic that goes into making this cube and there's that little piece down the middle and the internals of this cube definitely do give it its unique feel as I've said before. And it also has tracks, not as pronounced as that of as those of the QJ brand cube, but they still do have tracks. This is the size of this cube is a standard Rubik size. Nothing too bad. It's the same size as a Guhong. The weight, compared to a Guhong, a little bit heavier. The turning of this cube, as I said, is really unique. It's not really like anything I've ever felt before. It's not fast by any means like the, uh, the Zanshi, which is just awesome. But it, it, it has a very controllable feel, and if you can hear that slight clicking sound, I don't really know how, how else to describe it. You can probably hear that. I, it, it's got, it gives the cube a really unique sound, and I actually kind of like it. And it is very smooth, but it's not crispy. It's just that one thing that I, don't, I really don't know how to explain it. You just have to feel it for yourself. One quick thing, the reason why I got this cube is because I own two Shang Shao brand cubes, a 2x2 and a 4x4, and I've been very impressed with them. So I wanted to see what their 3x3 has to offer. And, obviously, this is what I'm uh, reviewing for you right now. The corner cuts on this cube go a full cubie, effortless, not like a Rubik's brand whatsoever. Over one cubie, not so much. Actually, it's all right. So, very good corner cuts. The reverse corner cuts, it's not a Diane Guhong, so it can only reverse corner cut to a certain extent. Popping? I haven't had a pop on this cube yet. Um, and we'll just have to see, I guess, but I have not had a pop on it. And locks are just standard, standard locks that you get with any cube. If you overturn too much, you'll just kind of have a weird thing going and there's no weird locks that happen such as those of the A5 before it has been modded. L this cube is lubed with QJ brand lube looks like this actually no I, that's a lie it's lubed with silicone and it does have a really good feel to it. Uh, it didn't change the feel much it just made it slightly faster so who would I recommend this cube to? This is a cube I would recommend to somebody who is getting their first or second DIY. 
if you are just trans transitioning from a Rubik's brand and you are averaging, I don't know, somewhere around a minute, you do not want to jump straight to a uh, cube such as a Guhong. You would definitely want to adjust quick uh, adjust to a better cube uh, than the Rubik's brand before you jump to an advanced cube such as the Guhong, the Zanchi, the Lenhui, so on and so forth. So I'd recommend this to a, someone in the range of 30 to 60 seconds average. However, I do I did use this one. I did I used I did a 100 average of 100 with this cube, my YJ cube, and my QJ brand 3 by th uh, 3 by 3 second gen. And I noticed that I got my most average times with as in like sub 15 I got my mo the majority of my average time solves on the Shangshao and the QJ brand. So that wraps up this review. Post a comment in, uh, below if you have any questions.